Okay, so look where I am. I'm on stage in the Royal Court. Uh, this is open now, Brick Up the Mersey Tunnel. This is the set, the famous set that we've all seen before. And if you haven't, where have you been? <laughs> with me, um, we've got lovely Suzanne Collins. Hi, everybody. You've been on the show more than me now, by the way. <laughs> on the guides, I know. You've been very supportive. I love the guides. And the amount of people that watch you and go, Suzanne, seen you on the telly and I'm with. See, see. On the guides. But yeah. tell us about this, because... This is a weird fact, but it's, it's true, it's amazing. The most successful comedy show in Liverpool's theatre history. In the world. Isn't joking. that amazing, though? <laughs> it is amazing. Um, this play, ten years ago, the um, Royal Court was closing down and we were all doing this play. It was going to be the last play ever to go on. And after a week, they were queuing up the street right up to the Penny Farthing. We were thinking, oh, my God, we thought there was murder going on in the Penny Farthing, like sometimes there is. And um, they, went, they were queuing to get back in and it saved the theatre. And the theatre stays open since then. And... Um, it's the same cast by, by one guy, um, David Edge couldn't do it this year, so lovely Paul Duckworth could, and, other, and it's just, it's a dream job. It's a dream. It's I don't brilliant. feel like I'm working. But isn't it great, though, that they've kept that cast the same for 10 yeah, years? Yeah, very you know? lucky, very lucky, yeah. You, have you got bored of it yet, doing no, the same show? No, no, you'd think that we would, wouldn't you? But um, it's a different show every night, because audiences laugh at different things, mm. hopefully. <laughs> no, but they do, they, they laugh do. at different things, and... Um, it's just, it's, about, it's a play about us and we've got the ability to laugh at ourselves and I think that's why it works and you recognise all the characters and stuff. So uh, Tell us briefly about the plot. Um, three fellas and they all meet in my cafe here on the Dock Rose in Liverpool and they've all had some argument with someone over the water on the Wirral. So it's all about the Wirral and the Liverpool divide and they decide they're going to brick the Mersey tunnels up. And I don't want to give you any more, but um, there's, there's one guy, a builder, by Drew Schofield, who's like the best actor on the planet. And he's hilarious in it. And he's like a compulsive liar, his character. And um, he's just so funny, just so, so funny. Um, and then you've got a guy, the GPO, who's the post office man, that's Paul Duckworth. And, um, and then the other one is a tunnel engineer. And then the people they have an argument with is a woman called Anne Twacky over on the Wirral. And her husband, Dennis is this, Twacky. Is that F and it's beautiful Ethna Brown, Brown, yes. Who we just show. adore. Yeah, and lo we adore every single one of them. And they're all so talented. I play the tambourine in this, but they play the flute, the saxophone, the guitar, the drums. Um, but not only that, you, you also give the audience some beautiful songs. <laughs> and one of them <laughs> is Somewhere Over, over the, the Mersey, Mersey. Yeah. which is brilliant. And it is Somewhere <laughs> Over the Rainbow, but, but changed up a little bit. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, chords, You sound yeah. great in it though, Sue. Oh, thank you, you babe. Do. Thank you. It's all the wonderful um, team I've got with me. Um, fantastic band, Howard Gray is just amazing. And um, and Tucker on the drums and Adam Keast, who also plays the Cockle Boy as well, who I fall in love with. But I think I fall in love with his money. She's a gold digger and his Porsche. Um, yeah, and he plays a bass guitar and they're just, they're just so nice. They're just so talented. Brilliant. And it's like, not work, it's a joy. And, so, and what's wonderful as well is the theatre's got its grand and it's all so beautiful and done up. Well, so outside, I've just walked in. It's all obviously been refurbed now, the Royal Court outside, and it looks amazing. It yeah, looks stunning. It looks, it looks better than what I thought it would. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, we feel Ted lucky. Yeah. And it's gorgeous for everyone. It's like lovely Debbie the Cleaner and Armory who does the wardrobe and everything. You know, they, they've been here since day one, the very mm. first brick up. And, and um, I made up for Kevin Team and Jill together. as well. Yeah. So tell us quickly and, and before we go, why should we come and see Brick Up the Mezzy Tunnel? Everyone loves to have a laugh. Why wouldn't you want to have a good time and feel good about yourself and have a giggle? You can even have a lovely meal as well. Simon the Chef is like one of the best cooks on earth and got the lovely bar. Come and enjoy yourself. Have a laugh at yourself. Yeah. Yeah, guaranteed. And, and listen to her singing. Can I have uh, a little <laughs> yeah. bowl of scouse, please, from Maggie's Cafe before yeah. you go? Suzanne Collins <laughs> and all the cast that Brick Up the Mersey Tunnel. <laughs> I'll have it in a cup. That's fine. Okay. My mum does that. Uh, come and see a Brick Up the Mersey Tunnel. It's on at the Royal Court right now. Yes, up until the 5th of March. Yeah. Always got to get the last word in. Yeah. <laughs>